Hi guys, it's been so long since I've seen so many of you guys. I missed you guys so much. It's been so long since I last talked about Yashihime and stuff. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Super exciting because we're gonna be talking about the Yashahime manga and I'm so excited. I have a special guest today. We have Bernana, Bruna, my sister. She did not read the manga, so it is my job to summarize it to her. So, Ate, what are your predictions before we start? Basically, what we didn't get from the anime. Everything? Like what? Just like them being together well too bad because <laughs> obviously the manga is adaptation like shina's version of the story it's very similar but very different if that makes sense so i guess we can get started <laughs> i'm excited i'm so excited like you don't even okay we're over your back and we're <laughs> Before we get started, make sure to grab your own copy of the Yashihime English translated version of the manga from the Viz website. I will leave a link down below in the description below. This is not sponsored, but I'm just letting you guys know so we can further support the series because it's honestly looking kind of good. But yeah, you guys can totally read along with me on live streams and during these summary videos. So yeah. In the anime, we basically start off where, you know, they're fighting the freaking owl boy and like Toa got kidnapped or something. With this one, we start like from the, not like the beginning beginning of their story, but Toa basically in the modern era. Basically, she's at her new school for two two months. As you know, in the anime, that was her like first day, I think, uh, at St. Gabriel's. It's an all-girls school as well. In the manga, you see she's wearing the... I'm gonna just show a little bit of the, of the panels, okay? In the manga, she's actually wearing the actual uniform, like the girl's uniform, you know? In the anime, I was always like super, super, super confused because she was wearing like her old school uniform at her new school, which like, you know, we all know. Oh, like if you're gonna go to a new school, they're not gonna allow you to wear your old school uniform. I know it's not a big deal, but it's just really confusing to me. Yeah, I like how Shina just kind of like fixed that basically, if that makes sense. So she's like new in the school. Obviously, Toa stands out so, 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 so much because, you know, she has white hair. She has red eyes and everything. And uh, all these girls are actually like fangirling over Toa. They're like, oh my God, like she's so hot. Like she's so cool. As she walks down school, like she can hear people like whispering about her, like saying, oh, I heard she transferred from Shoyo Junior High School. Why did she switch schools? This is a point that I really, really Really, like was interested in but someone says her aunt got married and moved to the middle of nowhere which i think you know they're obviously talking about kagome right kagome got married and she just like left mm -hmm. you know um i think it obviously references the last episode where um whenever like sota's like friends would be like where's your sister like i heard she's hot <laughs> you know and then sota's oh like gosh. you know like mm -hmm. right after graduating she got married and yeah, that's it. And he just like moves on, you know? Um, so it's kind of referencing that. I thought that was really um, interesting. So Toa is like pretty popular. People are like, oh, like we're going to karaoke. Want to come? You know when people have like a resting bitch face and you're kind of like, you know? So Toa yeah. kind of has that. She kind of has like a little yeah. glare to her. She doesn't mean to be like scary. She doesn't mean to, to look mad. She kind of like gave off that vibe and like people got scared. Like they're like, oh, a few of us are going out for karaoke. Want to come? And then she like, she like, glares over here she glares and she's like karaoke and she's like i'd love to but i really like to join but i'm um, sorry i already have plans like she, i think she, she has to go home after and like the girls like obviously you know her resting bitch face they got scared and like they ran away she's Aww. like bruh like I, I didn't mean i didn't mean to i think it's interesting obviously we already see a contrast with the anime versus the manga in the anime she was like the new student literally in the anime no one cared about her at her new school i think they people did look at her but like it was never really a big thing at all either but i think that her only issue was like those bullies toa explains why she moved from her last school and basically she moves because the principal was like oh you have to dye her hair black make her wear glasses and stuff like that right yeah because her eyes are like red it kind of reminds me of the whole thing with fruits basket the vice pres was like is that even your real hair color and then haru was just like yes it is and then he was like like prove it and he was like okay let's go to the washroom <laughs> 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 to the washroom yeah i saw this on twitter they're insane 
<laughs> They're insane. She moved from her last school because she was the principal or whatever asked Sota, her adopted father, to dye her hair and make sure she wears glasses. And then obviously Sota, I don't know like if he was this like protective in the anime. But in the manga, he's like very protective. And then he's just like, you call yourself an educator? And like, he was like getting really mad. And I guess like he just pulled her out of that school because obviously did not allow her to be herself. And I think that's such a like an important thing with this. Sota wanted Toa to like at least look herself because Toa already had to kind of like conceal her strength, conceal her powers and stuff like that. While here it's like, at least have your hair color, you know? Toa like, goes home and stuff like that and she was like, even if I dyed my hair, I wouldn't make any difference because my eyes, my face, the way I move, there's no way for me to change all that. My eyes creep people out. I still can't believe Papa Sota and Mama Moe are willing to take me in. I must have gotten my eyes from my birth parents. I wish I knew something about them. Oh my God, like, okay. I know it's like literally the bare minimum. The anime, like Toa just like, la 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 la, li -la -li -li. I only care about Tatsuna you know in the manga already she's like i wonder why i look different i wonder who my parents are like why do i have white hair why do i have like superhuman strength why am i faster than other people why am i so different you also see like guilt that like you know she feels like oh like i can't believe like sota and mama moi they're so kind i'm a freak basically like i can't believe they would take me in and love me as their own child so we meet mei mei and sota are both like toa's like biggest fangirls it's really cute. Mei is just very clingy to Toa. She's like, Toa, you're mine. You're my sister. She's like on her way to like the shrine and then she gets approached by this girl. So like we already see like a big difference. There's no bullies. Like there's no bullies that like take freaking grandpa. That was so freaking weird. Like it was so, it was so funny, time. but it was like, why is this happening right now? You know? <gasps> Bro, Wait, what seriously? the frick? <laughs> Look at this delinquent wannabe. <laughs> So there's this uh, like little fangirl from like middle school and she's like giving Toa like like a love letter, <laughs> a confession letter. She's like, yo, like let's hang out, let's make friends. Toa like notices, hmm, there's something wrong, right? And then she was like, okay, like if you want to hang out, let, let's meet up at like our shrine tonight. And the girl's like, okay, let's go. I think another important thing is like Toa has like this like charm side, like she's like really like I don't know how to explain it. This is like what it is basically. It's not a tease, but it's like she knows how to charm people. <laughs> Where it's just like, ah! <laughs> you know, I don't know how to explain it. She's just like, come tonight after dark. In fact, you can both come. I'll be waiting. Mm -hmm. Sota goes back home. She's like giving Grandpa Higurashi a massage. Toa's like really strong, right? So she's like really good at giving massages. Mei was like, and Kagome. Did she have cool powers too? Like, were Auntie's hands like Toa's? And then, this is where I'm like, FINALLY, MAN! The bare minimum, we got the bare minimum. Finally, she mentions Kagome. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> Thank you! Like, no one's like, <laughs> I forgot I had a daughter. I don't know who these people are. There's none of that. None of that. Grandpa's like, well, not as far as we knew, but apparently she did when she was in the feudal era. I hope she's happy there. She was so young to get married and go to a place she never could return from. A lot of people, after Inuyasha ended, was like, oh, was Kagome ever able to come back? And based off of this manga, the mama Higurashi was like, she's so young to like get married and go to a place she could never return from. So like, it was like, you know, marriage is like, like, she's never coming back, basically, yeah, after she hopped through the well. Uh, and then Mei was like, Auntie did it because she was in love. It's so romantic. It was so cool of you to let her go. Grandma Higurashi's like, well, the choice wasn't ours to make. She wanted to live in his world with him. And I'm like... <laughs> I, I feel like a lot of us could agree. We're all like, oh my god, like, you know, Kagome's mom is so irresponsible. Like, <laughs> she just let her go through the well or whatever, and, like, fight for her life. But then at the end of the day, I think it was cool that, you know, mm -hmm. at that point, Kagome's already, like, an adult. And, like, she she has been thinking about, you know, wanting to see Inuyasha for, like, well over three years for, like, so long. And she's like, you know, like... You survived this long, girly. You can survive the rest of your life there. <laughs> Toa goes, don't worry, you'll see her again someday, Grandma. And I think that's kind of uh, foreshadowing that I think they're gonna actually reunite in the manga at one point. Which makes me happy! 
And then Toa kind of talks about like, oh, like, I can't explain it, but like our worlds are still kind of connected because she obviously knows that like she came from that time, if that makes sense. I guess it's nice to know that Grandma Higurashi, she knows that she didn't make a mistake of choosing, of letting uh, Kagome go. She knows that it was the right choice. I think because they were talking about Kagome and like her, you know, big girl decision, Grandpa was like, you know, Sota, he's still like so immature, he's so childish, blah, blah, blah. And he was saying how like, as a young boy, he was like really responsible, like what could have led, led him astray, basically. This kind of hints like after Inuyasha ended and Kagome just like hopped through the well and Mama Higurashi is kind of like, oh, like to make such a big decision to go to a time where you can't return from. When Kagome went through, she didn't have time to say goodbye to everyone. So I think mm -hmm. Sota kind of had like a little bit of trauma from that, like, oh, like she just left. You know, I never got to say goodbye. I never got to see Inuyasha and Kagome yeah. again. I think that's where Grandpa Higurashi is kind of saying, oh, like, Sota's not over it, you know? like, Because, like, there's a lot of points in the rest of this uh, volume where, you know, Sota kind of hints that, you know, like, he just, like, didn't get over that, you know? So after that, Sota's like, oh, can I can I use the thing? And then Grandpa's like, the thing? And they're like, yeah. And then he goes into the shrine and takes out a knife that has been in our sh family shrine for generations. <laughs> in the anime, she had like this knockoff sword from the museum um, and then it broke, right? Um, here she has like a knife from the shrine like that has been in our family for generations. <laughs> so Knight approaches and Toa like meets up with the girl that like was like, yo, let's hang out. And this is where, um, you know, Toa's white outfit is revealed. So this is her outfit. Do -do 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 -do. And basically, it's not uniform. It's actually like a demon slaying outfit, if that makes sense. Everyone's like, Toa, where'd you get that outfit? You look amazing. Did you dress up for me? And then, oh you know, gosh. you know, May, she's like <laughs> territorial of Toa. And she's like, heck no, like, don't think that. Like, she did not do that for you. I was the one that chose this outfit for her. White words off evil and a suit makes it easy to move in. In the manga, this outfit is not uniform. It's just, yeah, like a demon slaying outfit, if that makes sense. That May pick, which I think was really is really cute. It makes more sense than uniform, you know? How come she had to switch clothes? Because May says she's going to exercise you. <laughs> There's two girls. Oh, and, then, and, one and one of them, one of them was, like, was a, ghost. A, like a ghost, right? So basically the girl had an attachment. So yeah, that's why she was like, yo, like let's Ooh. meet like if you wanna hang out, like, let's meet at the shrine so I can exercise you. At this point, the whole freaking family is here at the <laughs> shrine cheering this girl on. Sota <laughs> is like pulling a freaking what's it called? Mean girl's mom moment with the freaking video camera like, Yo Toa, oh do your best. Papa's gonna get this whole thing on camera. So then everyone's just like, oh my god, why is he like, why is he like this? And then Moe comes up and then she has like food. She's like, yo, like let's share this ham. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? So I think it's really nice to see her family like this. In the original Inuyasha, the Higurashis were always like super chaotic and weird and like super like supportive of like everything especially like if you remember like the uh, school festival Toa is going to freaking exercise this girl and she explains that yo like you got an attachment basically um, and the girl's like I came alone and he's like she's like no so then Toa takes the knife and basically stabs the, the ghost and then she's like all in all my life's pretty good the Higurashis are kind and warm I love them all but it's not enough I feel like I'm not a part of this world I'm always a little off somehow, but whenever I come face to face with a monster, for that moment, it doesn't matter. So at this point, it's like, since the beginning of this like volume, un up to this point, we just have a lot of examples of Toa doesn't fit in. Toa loves her family, but she doesn't fit in. She knows that there's something missing and she wants to find out what it is. In the anime, like everyone just like, little little <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm doing. So the demon disappeared. The girl runs away. Grandpa's like, another brave battle, Toa. Did you capture it all? Like to, to Sota on the video. He said, as usual, nope. Toa's on here, but not the monster. Again, like there's this, there's this other thing with like Sota's like little like, not really obsession, but like maybe a little bit of obsession with like feudal era stuff. He's not only like recording it entirely for Toa, but it's also like he wants to capture something like for his research. 
And then it's so cute because Moe is like, oh, like, you know, you usually can't really see like demons and uh, ghosts and stuff like that on a camera. And like most humans can't even see those. Like, I feel like if you have like a third eye, then you can see those things. And then Soto's like, true, but my sister's doggy boyfriend was half demon and I could see him. He was strong, fun, and cool. I wish we could meet again, big brother. And I'm like, ah! Soto looked up to Inuyasha. Yeah, I remember Soul Stealer. Like, you know, like, I freaking love this. I love this. Like, he's wearing his pajamas, and then they're, they're gonna, like, go to the construction site to, like, save Kagome. And then all of a sudden, there is, like, corruption in the sacred tree, and then Mr. Centipede goes through the tree time portal. Ha ha ha, I'm here. I'm going to eat you all. Mr. Centipede is there to kill Toa, basically. I shall kill and devour thee. And then basically Toa puts up a fight. She stabs it with the knife. And it's like, ow. As Toa's gonna like do the final blow, the knife breaks. But she's like, what a rush. This is what I was born for. Like she feels really connected to like fighting demons and stuff like that you know like this is where she feels like her true self mr centipede pulls out her true form and then all of a sudden an arrow appears and strikes mr centipede and then toa looks up an arrow where did that come from she looks at the top of the building and it's Satsuna and what <laughs> <laughs> Finally! And I was like, are they gonna show up this time? Like, during this part or no? Yeah! Moroha and Satsuna comes in. And you know what Moroha says? She says, What's taking you so long, cousin? Hurry up and crush that bug. You've already wounded it. So at this point, Moroha already knows that they're cousins. Oh and Satsuna uh -huh. obviously knows that that's her sister. Wait, let me she show. I'm pleased that Toa can like just See, take it, so take cool. them on. Moroha is so freaking cute. Like, what a baby. What a baby. According to the Tree of Ages, <laughs> that's your twin sister, Satsuna. And then Satsuna's like, my sister, that girl. She looks so cool. But basically, like, none of them really like recognize each other. If that makes sense. Toto's like, oh my god, does this mean like our worlds are connected again? Because Toa's knife broke. Satsuna throws like an, a new sword at her, you know, to use. And then Toa uses like her sword and she's like, sling sling. Ha ha ha. And then I think at this point, Satsuna, Satsuna's kind of like analyzing, like, hmm, you know, like her aura is like decent at least, I guess. She's already kind of sassy towards Toa and stuff. It's very similar to um, the anime where, you know, Toa kind of messes up a little bit and then like, Satsuna and Moroha would like, kind of yell at Toa kind of for like messing up but like you know you can't really blame Toa because like she doesn't know what's freaking happening it's just like all of this is being thrown at her right now right so the centipede boy grabs Toa and go goes through the time tree tunnel basically they're like oh my god like it's trying to skip to the other side let's get going like Moroha and Tsuna. and then Sota actually grabs Moroha and is like wait please just a minute and then she's like what the hell let me go it's getting it's getting away right Sota actually stops Moroha and is like yo what is going on you know it kind of teases us at that point like we kind of move past and like she talks about it again later but basically they go through the, the time tree tunnel and they're in the feudal era and then Mr. Centipede's there and then Satsuna goes through and slices Mr. Centipede's head off and then she's like yo where am I what the heck and then you know the usual Satsuna's like saying yo like why'd you let your guard down and stuff like that and she's saying no one so weak and foolish could be my older twin sister it's very similar to the anime at this point so at this point Moroha goes through the time tree tunnel we don't really know what Sota says yet but it comes later I'm really sad that they didn't use Kagome's yellow bag, but it was like, it, it looks like a military bag, if that makes sense. So basically, they're like, where did this sack come from? And basically, her family gave it to me. And it's like basically Papa Sota's emergency bag. He kept it ready in case he ever had to go back to the fuel era. He was like really prepared, like if anything ha were to happen, like if Toa would have to go back, we would have like emergency supplies for her to survive there because <laughs> you know she's a modern Aww. era girl you know i don't know if this is a translation error or whatever but it says he kept it ready in case he ever had to go back to the feudal era and the thing is sota's never been to the feudal era so i don't know if that's like a typo or whatever but so you know the toa is already like she already knows about the feudal era and everything she's like yo could this be and then moroha's like you're toa right i'm your cousin moroha and this is your twin satsuna 
I don't know if we should celebrate or not, but congratulations on coming home after 10 years away. So I was like, is this my home, basically? And there's like this really pretty illustration of like Rin and Kagome and the, the girls, and it's really freaking pretty. That was actually the end of the first chapter of the first Yashahime volume. Stay tuned for the next chapter summary. Link down below is the full live stream if you guys would like to view that. But here's a little preview of the next chapter. Have you heard of Kagome and Inuyasha? I wanted to cry. Like I felt so bad for Kaede. You did not say hippo teeth. Didn't does it not look like hippo teeth? This girl is Kagome's daughter. We haven't had much time for romance, haven't we? We're married what? now, so act like a husband. <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> and then she says, "Perhaps I sh I should join you, big sister." <gasps> oh yeah, God. I was like, <laughs> my heart. 